How'd the first practice go? Well, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, easy to say, stand back. I, there was a lot of really good stuff. I think mean, getting out here and, and, and getting in front of the guys, getting the ball on the field uh, with a helmet on, it's just so, so incredibly important the first day and, and learning how to where a starting point really is for the offense. Objective, objective communication level, especially, you know, with the, the communication level called the newness of it. Good, it was chaotic. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's important to be that way a little bit. I think you're trying to get to that point where, you know, I, I think ideally the, the, the closer you can get to be getting guys in that in that learning zone from being comfortable and between panic and comfortable is really where you want to be. And I think I, I think that uh, they understand that's where we want to be at because that's where we're going to be. And so I think having a lot of communication that's loud, you know, and clear and, and, and all over the place uh, with a lot of tempo is really important for us to, to understand where we want to be. Coach, you're one for you just day one for the camp this year. What are some of the uh, principles that you want to implement to this offense to help it elevate another level? Well, I think you're going to start with more identity phase stuff in, in regards to how we show up. I think being locked and loaded is one of the premier things we're talking about. And that's being prepared to come out here and be ready to go. I think self-starters and guys who start fast is a big part of our offense. Understanding when to get out here and when to go. Um, the second piece, Phil Softly, I think we've talk, talked about identity-wise for our guys is is understanding exactly uh, how guys can compete, some rare toughness. You know, I think I say rare with those guys because there comes a certain stamina to this game that you've got to have to play. And I think you usually see that in the later half of practice, you know, and that's really where towards the end of practice you saw really ramp it up. Because that's when you start getting tired and that's when you start losing fundamentals, you start breaking communication. And that's where we've got to be able to raise that level. And the last part's finishing. Those are the three things probably when it comes to what we're really starting to uh, create is build some consistency and habits in regards to to guys that come out prepared and have some ability to build some toughness and finish. Is it exciting for you to just be out on the field, be out on the grass, and get this in all Oh man, I mean, this is what we do. This is, we live for this, man. This is unbelievable. We got you know, really awful weather too. The degrees and the grass, and uh, you know, I, I, I got a lot of complaints about the weather. Coach, what is the plan for uh, for Jaden in the spring? What will he, what will he be able to do with you guys? Yeah, I mean, when you've ever got a guy who's, who's injured and he's not going through, uh, you know, probably the, the total capacity of what you want to do as a player, you got to be able to maximize the rest of it. And I think, you know, his ability to be on the headset right now, we got, as you guys probably saw, everyone's using microphones now. We got NFL headsets. He's locked and loaded into that. Um, guys are dialed in the meetings, going through the conditioning phases of anything we can do that are fundamental to the position. Not only with the strength and conditioning, the open conditioning, but anything I can do as far as fundamental footwork. Anything without a ball, still a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of mental peace and mechanical stuff we can do without throwing. And I think getting him back in that phase is really the, the first piece of it. Following up on that, uh, regarding oh. the quarterback competition, or just the quarterback position in general, what is your approach on the quarterback position without Jaden throughout this game? Well, I mean, guys have got to set the tone at the quarterback position of, of playing the football. I mean, they're learning right now the offense. And so it's the ability to communicate, be able to know naturally what they're going to do in progressions, be able to know where guys are supposed to go. Um, be smart in situational football today is in the early in phase of camp is your first and second down stuff and understand what the nature of that type of football is, what has to get done. Um, and I think as you progress, you move into um, a little more progressive situational football, a little more tempo, you add a little bit more elements to their plate. Um, but I think the fun fundamental approach right away in the early onset of learning the system is probably the most important piece. Guys, what have you been your initial impressions of a guy like Trenton Bourget and his knowledge of the game and what he brings to the league? Yeah, I think I think I've answered a couple times about trend, and I think uh, it goes without saying it's that the old adage that there's 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 no uh, replacement for experience. I mean, the guy's been around so much football. I mean, I think he said the days had seven coordinators, and I'm like, I haven't had seven cars. You know? <laughs> I'm 44 years old, uh, but the guy's had he has an incredible work ethic. I think there's a ton to be said about the way he approaches his team in this, in this university and his passion for the game and. Um, my hat's off to him and, and the way he's, he comes out every day to work. He's awesome. He has a lot of size at receiver as well as tight end. Um, having that length, how much does that open up the uh, offensive option? Yeah, yeah, I mean, size and growth potential in this game at this level is a huge piece. And I think if you can do that at all positions, you, you obviously uh, give yourself a competitive advantage across the field. I mean, you have a length across the middle of the field with guys on the perimeter, let alone guys uh, like our tight ends uh, are huge for us. Uh, it's, it's great for a catch radius. Um, as long as we play the ball away from our body, but uh, the ability to separate and play big, um, any big guys that, that can really move are, are, are really a, a sweet deal to have. What does Scott bring to the table? Another guy with a lot of experience, another guy with uh, who plays with some real ruggedness, you know, and I think this game is a, this game, it's a rugged game. It's a tough game, especially at the back. 
you know, the running back positions, you know, at the, at before the snap of the ball, the, the only guy who's really staring at 22 guys ahead of him. I think that takes a little bit different of a mindset uh, when it comes to a, you know, a guy who's got to play a bit, you know, down in and down out. Um, he's a guy I don't think we're going to have to pull up the field. Looks like he's down back. He hasn't gotten the protection and stuff like that yet, but there's enough on tape where, where his, uh, his abilities are going to be something that are going to be pretty fruitful. Really Coach, looking at a lot of different athletes throughout your career, um, an athletic twitchy guy like the Lily Brown, how would you describe his skill set and how he opens up your options? Yeah, really. has got uh, another guy we think is, is going to be, a, you know, you're looking at those backs as whether a change of pace or a big back or an all down or all purpose. You know, you like the all down backs, you don't have to change. Change, but he can. He can also has that ability to change pace throughout the downs. I mean, he's got. He's a burst guy. He's a guy like we've had at the Justice Hill. He's one of the guys in Oregon. The guys we've had in the past. The Cal guy we've had that can really be home run type guys. Uh, who also makes a really big dent in, in the pass game. His ability to play one on one and, and option routes and wheels and play in space is, is pretty special. The screen game opens up with your running back, and you can play that and move that way. You can break formation with him. Um, there's a lot of things that he brings to the table um, that, that, that make the, the offense good.